to Treasure Beach, South Coast, St. Elizabeth. I have another one here for you. This is a private residence and it features a lot of the comforts that you would expect in a luxury beach home. And that includes 24 hours air conditioning. Um, you know, we have two different pools with pool pumps. You know, we have washer, dryer, and a total of about eight different air conditioners on the property. So um, it's quite a it's it's a it's a big property and it's it's a it's a big um, footprint as far as the, for the consumption. So it carries a, a huge energy footprint. This house pulls about 20 kilowatts um, when it peaks. So we have to have a system that's able to handle that kind of pressure. Now as a vacation home, uh, vacation homes usually consume energy a little bit different because uh, the, the, the users of the house don't normally watch things that a regular person living in a house would watch, such as your consumption. So usually, um, once the owners are home, everything is on. You know, they're doing laundry, they are running the washer and the dryer, the air conditioners are on, along with whatever other appliance they feel like using in the house. So the, the this house on a regular day will use over 100 kilowatt hours for the day. So they average about three to 4,000 kilowatt hours monthly. Um, and, uh, and, 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 and that will affect anybody's pocket. So naturally the choice to go solar was, was an easy one. So now we're gonna head over to the power room where uh, all the energy is generated and stored and also distributed back through the inverter to the house so handling all this power are two 12 kilowatt lux power inverters along with uh, 40 kilowatt hours of battery capacity and for our charging power we're using 60 575 watt monocrystalline panels so we're currently load testing our batteries we're testing them at the maximum which is about 50 amps discharge so our batteries are holding up very well and then this is the problem we were having before we just turned on the panels that were here before we got here and they're making about 11,000 watts of solar from those panels And these are the panels we added, which only was two strings. We're making another. It's going up about 7.5 kilowatts over there. Kilowatts. Right now we're putting out about 18,000 watts of solar power for ourselves. And it's in the afternoon, so we can do better than that as well. And what we want is while we're running the load, you see where it was saying discharging 50 amps, it's now charging at about 39 amps while running the load in the house. So that's what we want. So the next thing we're gonna add now to the load, we're gonna run a dryer, which is gonna add another six or 7,000 watts of load onto this circuit. So we'll be putting somewhere around 16, 17 kilowatts from the system. So if you wanna know if your solar system is really up to par and is properly scaled, um, based on your load then you should be able to run whatever you want in the house whenever you want however you want um, and, and that will illustrate or demonstrate if your system is properly scaled if your system 
is chipping out or shutting down or going everything goes dark and it blanks out uh, because you turned on something that you weren't supposed to turn on it just means that your inverter is undersized it's not properly sized according to the diversity factor of you using your appliances all right so let's take a look at what we're running now in the house we are currently using 6300 watts on one inverter and on the other inverter we're pulling equally 6300 watts so that's 12.6 kilowatts that we're using in the house right now and as you can see the system is comfortably handling that while keeping the grid on standby now there was a system here before that um, was nowhere near adequate for what the customers are using so they had a 15 kilowatt system and they thought it was a big system um, and, and it, it could handle the load but the entire system kept shutting down once you start to run you know a lot of appliances so it was undersized to begin with so we had to scrap that system uh, basically um, got it out rewire the entire thing uh, we used back the panels that they had um, but uh, and the batteries but we changed out the inverter system and uh, rewired it for a grid interactive system so that means that JPS is on standby and is there if you ever need them JPS will come in automatically This particular client was very smart in how he approached the dilemma uh, he, he was facing. Um, he realized the system was not working. It was not what he had in mind. And uh, before he did anything or spend anything else, he seeked uh, proper consultation and um, based on the questions he was asking he asked all the right questions to solve the problem and we discussed all the solutions and before we even got to discussing the huge elephant that was in the room which is the implementation cost of the solution that we were proposing so once we did a sit down consultation and ran all the numbers did all the math with the customer uh, he realized that he definitely would need a larger system and um, we decided to go ahead and add some more panels and make room for additional batteries as well for future upgrades With a total capacity of uh, approximately 34 kilowatts of solar power, the homeowner now has more than enough energy to power all his appliances uh, simultaneously without compromise. And uh, at the end of the day, that has to be a good feeling. You know, at the end of the day, it's really about your independence, your self-sufficiency, and uh, the freedom to really en enjoy the comforts of your home without having to pay a huge bill at the end of the month. Jamaica has one of the highest electricity costs in the entire world, and um, there's something you can do about that. So regardless of the size solar system you need, it is important uh, that you get the, 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 the size of the inverter right 
once you start with the right size inverter you can start with a minimum amount of solar panels and even a minimum amount of battery capacity and build on that over time until you get yourself where you need to be or where you want to be. So this is something you hardly ever hear which is the fan in the 12 kilowatt lux power and uh, that is because we're currently using almost 8 kilowatts here and another 7.1 there so we're using over 15,000 watts of power in the house right now over 15 kilowatts and that's because we've got the dryer going and we got many many air, we got uh, five air conditioners going along with everything else in the house so we're doing a load test right now i'm gonna run the microwave at the same time just to see just to make sure everything is all right and so that i'll know that once we're done you guys will be good to do whatever you want to do at home so the reason why we're pulling so much load this is what you couldn't do before, which is to run the dryer. See, we're running the dryer. 